You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. I want to want to set this up that uh, as a this, the fact that Mike Pence has a hole in his soul. Uh, back in, it was in 2009. I went down to that great assembly of Tea Party members on the uh, Congressional Mall. Uh, where nearly a million people were met after the uh, illegal election of Barack Hussein Obama. And Mike Pence was, I don't know if he's one of the speakers, but was certainly there as the Freedom Caucus Tea Party people put together that great event. And I was there. And um, it, the first time I met Mike Pence, he was in, was he governor or congressman, I'm not sure which, of Indiana. Uh, and I've always respected Mike Pence as a man of faith, uh, he is the one politician who still holds uh, the truth that LGBTQ is wrong and that he will not submit himself to it and he will do legislation to stop the spread of the misnomers of LGBTQ. And I appreciate that for Mike Pence. I do. Uh, he did cave in Indiana when they decided when he uh, stood against LGBTQ in Indiana and they decided to move all the sports and the Indianapolis 500, the Indianapolis 500 and Marriott hotels. But, but by and large, he's been a pretty strong trooper. But I see him now having lost his soul in, in bowing down to tribulation Trump. I understand politics. Um, you know, a lot of people were amazed and came running to my aid when Half the church walked out, and the three quarters of the church walked out when I spoke out against Obama. And people felt the pain that I was going through. And they came from all over America to join the church and to support me because they realized. And I remember those days. I was in my prayer closet this morning praying. And I'm amazed that I was able to stand while all those people just got up and walked out the church. It didn't bother me at all. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. It didn't bother me. And I, you, you say, Pastor, should there are members of the congregation leaving the church? But I know I w knew I was right, and I knew God had spoken to me. And you know, and obviously they were acting against God. But uh, I could be, if I wanted to be politically, you know, in 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 the loop. I could be supporting Tribulation Trump now. Well, I could not. There's no way. I don't know how Jesse Lee Peterson, I don't know how these other people do it. I swear before God, I don't. I know they support you. They, uh, you know, and opportunities are open as a result of that. People like Diamond and Silk and everything, they, you get all kinds of opportunities. I understand that. But what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? I just don't know how Diamond and Silk and Jesse Lee Peterson and, you know, Black Spear, the fella out there in, 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 in Missouri, I don't know how they do that. And the fella Grayson down in Georgia, I don't know how y'all, I don't know how y'all still do that. I just don't understand it. You know, what does it profit you to steal? You know Trump is a liar. You know he's a con man. You know he's a degenerate. And yet... You stick up for him. How can you st stick up for Jesus and Trump at the same time? But Mike Pence is the biggest disappointment of all. But Jake Tapper was trying to pin Mike Pence down on all the lies that Trump tells. And watch how he wiggles like a, like a, a, a shellless turtle. Uh, he just wiggles right out from underneath all the questions Jake Tapper asks ask him. And I've lost all my respect and I think God has abandoned his concern for Mike Pence and turned him over to a reprobate mind. Mike Pence is on his way to hell. He's got a hole in his soul. Over the last week, legal advocates reported some horrific conditions for children at the border. Uh, at the same time that that was going on, the Trump administration was actually arguing in court this week that the Trump administration should not be obligated to give soap or toothbrushes or showers to children detained at the border. Take a listen to this clip uh, of a Trump administration lawyer before a judge. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a toothbrush, if you don't have soap, if you don't have a blanket, it's not safe and sanitary. Well, wouldn't everybody agree to that? You, do you agree to that? Well, I, I think it's, I think those are, there's fair reason to find that those things may be part of safe no, and sanitary. No, maybe are a part. Aren't toothbrushes and blankets and medicine, basic conditions for kids, aren't they a part of how 
the United States of America, the Trump administration, treats children? Well, of course they are, Jake. Well, the lawyer was arguing well, the opposite. I, I, I can't speak to what that lawyer was saying. Yeah. It's one of the reasons we asked for more bed space. Right. When we were negotiating with Congress. Yeah. Well, no, when we were negotiating during the government shutdown. Oh, okay. And Democrats in Congress refused to expand the bed space and the capacity for us to, to detain people. this is going on right now. Borders. It's one of the reasons why we continue to call on Congress to give DHS, Customs and Border Protection, additional resources at the border. But this is again, the wealthiest nation in the world. What, we have money to give toothpaste and soap oh, and blankets oh, to these kids. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Mike Pence is wiggling away from this. We also have Jake Tapper questioned him about the, um, the uh, green lighting, the attack on Iran and uh, the lying and the bullying and bluffing that Tribulation Trump did over last week with respect to a, a allegedly going to attack. Um, around. Mr. Engineer, roll, I think it's clip number two, if you will, please. So over the weekend, the Iranians said they had reached out to the U.S. through the Swiss. Have you received that message? Has there been any dialogue with Iran, either directly or through an inter intermediary, since the president called off the strikes? Well, the president's message to Iran is very clear, that we are not going to allow Iran to obtain a nuclear weapon and we're not going to stand by while Iran continues to sow malign influence across the region. That's why tomorrow the president will announce additional sanctions uh, against Iran. And frankly, as we sit here today, uh, since the end of the Iran nuclear deal now a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, and additional sanctions that the United States is imposing, uh, Iran's economy is literally crumbling. And over the last two months, we've seen them lashing out even more than they usually do. Remember, Iran is the leading state sponsor of terrorism sure. in the world. They've sown malign influence even in the wake of the Iran nuclear deal in places like Yemen and elsewhere. Yeah, so they're lashing This out. president drew an end to that. We've isolated them economically and diplomatically, and they've lashed out the tanker attack a week ago, the attack on an American UAV last week. The drone. president's made yeah. it clear that we are not going to tolerate uh, any threats against American forces, American interests, uh, America's allies in the region, and we'll never allow Iran to obtain a nuclear weapon. So, so they're lashing out, but my question was, um, th are they reaching out too? Did you get that message from the Swiss uh, that the Iranians uh, delivered? Uh, I, I'm not aware of any outreach okay. from the Iranians. I know there was communication. Prime Minister Abe was actually in Tehran not long ago. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and, and he encouraged them. You know, Mike Pence has, has got a hole in his soul. He's lost, and I think he's condemned to hell. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places, for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting, rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro, or Anderson Cooper, or Rachel Maydow, or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly, sinful view. But the man in the will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.